Hey there, I'm Mark Horn, and in this video, I'm going to be diving in and showing you the DoD Aggregator software. Now, DoD Aggregator is basically deal of the day or daily deal aggregator software. An aggregator is a website that basically will aggregate certain things from other websites out on the web. And so, you know, there's there's a lot of people that that aggregate information, you could aggregate videos, you could aggregate news or polling data. Well, what this software does is aggregate deals. Um, is that absolutely huge right now because there's so many daily deal websites that are popping up and becoming really popular and it's really in the mass mass media now all about daily deals. So what is happening is that there's there's becoming a lot of these. So what people would rather do is rather than be subscribed to say 40 or 50 daily deal sites, you could set up a DoD aggregator website and basically be the hub for for all the deal sites or, or, or a lot of the deal sites. And um, with that, it's real simple. After you would go through and purchase DoD aggregator, um, you would choose a domain name and we would set up a website. Out of the box, it would look something similar to like like this, and you know there's deals running. Your your subscribers and your visitors can come visit. They can choose whatever city they'd like to and see all the deals that are pulled in from that particular city. We'll choose Atlanta. So now these are all Atlanta deals, and you know just can see a lot of them right down there, and it's really really cool. And um, also the system will automatically email these subscribers. So when somebody gets signed up uh, to your website, you know they enter their email address, choose their location. They can then decide which categories that they are interested in receiving deals about. Um, they can also decide how often that they would like to be emailed, and your system will all automatically take care of that. You have the ability with your DoD aggregator website uh, to run ads on your site. You can run ads in the deals. You can run ads really all over. You've got full capability to manage your ads. And so once you really start getting a larger user base, the potential to generate some ad revenue coupled with some affiliate revenue is, is very much present. So to get logged into your administrator, you're going to visit your domain name and then put a forward slash admin at the end of it. And you're going to proceed to enter the username and password that you were emailed right after you purchase. Now, if for some reason you can't find that, I encourage you to visit your email and search for your domain name and then proceed to search for with admin in that. And it's going to be you know, an email from HC Consulting Group that, that basically has this information there. So you really need to save that information and make, make sure that you have it. Now, if you forgot your password, we have a forgot password function right there that you can have it re-emailed to you. So go ahead and get logged into your site. And the first thing you're going to see is your dashboard. Now, you've got a lot of capability in, in your website to edit things. And we've got template settings. This is where you manage the look and feel of your website. You can change... Um, to a bunch of different themes. You can see here all the themes we've got. Blue, navy, gray, orange, pink, red, purple, and green. All these are really professional looking themes and they look absolutely great. Um, you can also then update your header image, your footer image, and a favicon which is uh, this little, it's a little image right there that will typically be right to the left of the URL box right there. I'm sure you've seen uh, you know a lot of favicons from something like Facebook. So jumping back here to Dashboard AdSense blocks is where you can manage all of your advertisements that are running on your site. Now, a lot, uh, a big trend of thought that a lot of uh, the bigger players do is that initially when they launch, they launch without any advertisements on their site. Uh, Google Plus is just a, the most recent example of this. They've recently launched and they started out with no ads. Now, I can guarantee you over the next year they will slowly integrate ads there. They'll they'll be introducing AdSense. Um, there and they'll start doing it that way but there's a reason that a lot of the sites will start out like that because ads can can really scare people off so we want to make sure that our main focus is building a big user base and with that you have the ability to generate affiliate commissions from some of the daily deal websites uh, where applicable that let you become an affiliate and and let you um, you know make money by sending traffic to to their deal site and and having that traffic ends up purchasing that's how you would really make money as an affiliate someone would come to your website they would see a deal that they like or they'd click on it from the email um, it would be your affiliate link and when they visit that deal if they were to go on and purchase you were going to get an affiliate commission for that purchase so the next thing you can do is you can manage categories in here 
Now categories are automatically updated from the deal sites that are that are pulled. If you want to make a category inactive, you would simply select the green checkbox and you would make it inactive. In this manner, you could really make your website more niche specific and you could only have, you know, certain niche markets or certain types of things that, that you're really interested in. Um, and if you want to do that, the important thing too is to make it inactive and not simply delete the category. If you delete the category, the next time that the cron goes and, and refreshes, the deal sites that are already running and in place will refresh and recreate those categories. So if you are running a more niche specific thing, and, and that's a, a, a big potential is to, to make a more niche specific daily deal aggregator website that pulls deals for specific niches, that would be the route to do that. Jump it back here. Managing RSS, managing your deal sites. Uh, this is where you're going to see a list of all the deal sites that we have in place. There's a few pages here at the bottom. We're going to be semi-regularly updating these with new deal sites that, that we feel are really big and important for you to have in place. So occasionally you'll see that there are new sites here in place. Now if you are interested and there is a specific site that you would love to have just specifically featured in your website, we can do that for you. Simply select request site right here. There is a nominal fee on that of $100 to actually do that because it's a manual process and it's really a non-trivial exercise that you know our team has to take an XML that we get from an RSS feed. It's, it's a little bit technical, but basically it's a $100 upgrade fee to do that and we could go ahead and take care of that for you rather quickly. Now also in Manage RSS, this is where you can manage your affiliate links. You can go to uh, a daily deal website that, that's running through your website. Uh, typically you can find a link to sign up as an affiliate in the footer of that website and go ahead and go through the sign up process, go through the approval process. Once you get approved to be an affiliate, you'll log into that particular affiliate center and you're going to get an affiliate URL. Now you're going to select add affiliate and from there you can simply enter the affiliate URL and select save. Let's jump back here. You can manage your pages. Now we have it built in the ability to create blog posts, nodes, or pages and it's all really easy. A blog is just like a, a live journal, an online journal. I'm quite sure you're familiar with stuff like WordPress and Blogspot. Very, very similar and you have complete ability um, to have that. It's already built in place and everything to be able to do that stuff. It's real simple, real easy, pretty incredible. So you've got full capability to update all of the pages in your site, to add new footer links, things of that nature. You can also make users, you know, uh, administrators if you want to. So if you wanted to have people um, help you with your blogging and, and things of that nature, you could you could easily do that. In your site settings, this is where you're going enter, to be entering your site title and your tagline, your email address and your time zone. Zero here, as you can see, is for GMT and status make sure that's checked and then always remember to save anytime you're updating things in the site in the social settings um, you can see here on the site we've got some things like your Facebook icon your Twitter and then this uh, the ability to just bookmark and share email I am blog social and we make it easy for people to come and share these deals and one of the main ways um, that you're gonna be able to get traffic is through viral growth and people are a lot more likely to visit a website if they get Rec uh, a recommendation from a friend and so having these things in place and they're in place on every deal and everything is really really important to help you grow because users you know as just part of their nature is that they want to share that they got a good deal um, they want to tell their friends about it they're, they're excited hey I just got $99 for a choice of three hair removal sessions at Cosmetica that's awesome and they're gonna go tell their girlfriends about this three hair removal sessions um, so it's just gonna help encourage viral growth and stuff so all you need to do to get this stuff plugged in properly is visit the social set settings um, enter your Facebook page URL your Twitter account URL once you select save you're ready to go now in our training we go a little bit more in depth about how to go ahead and create a Facebook page how to get signed up for Twitter and how to most effectively use those resources for you you know, maximum benefit. Your site SEO, you can choose to let robots not follow you if you want to get your site set up initially for, you know, and, and that will basically keep the search engine spiders from, from finding your site and indexing it in the search engines. If you want it to be indexed, you'll just have text like I've got written here, index, comma, follow. That means the search engine spiders will be able to find this site and go ahead and get it in, uh, indexed. Enter your keywords here. You want to enter your major keywords and you can visit googlekeywordtool.com for, for helpful ideas on that. Enter your site description. Now your site description is is really you know used as the description in search engines so it's really important to write your description for customers and not for search engines. You want to write it in a way 
where people are going to read it. It's going to make complete sense and people are going to know what your site is. And if they were searching for it, um, hopefully they're going to go ahead and click on and visit it. Um, you're going to, we've got a spot here where you can add Google Analytics, google.com forward slash analytics. You can visit there, get signed up for free, and basically put a little snippet of code on your website so then you can get some further data and information about the type of traffic you're getting and, and things of that nature, which is really good information to know. You can manage your users. You can do all sorts of things as far as um, making users give them different roles, such as you know letting them be an administrator or something of that nature. Besides that, it's, it's all pretty self-explanatory about the things that you can do. Your site automatically sends out emails based on what your users um, have have opted to, to to view, meaning if a user signed up for Atlanta and then they decided that they wanted to view categories X, Y, and Z, they're only going to get emailed deals from Atlanta from categories X, Y, Z. Now, here in the email section under the drop-down in settings, you've got the ability to update and manage these emails that go out, the registration email, the forgot password, and the newsletter emails that go out. You can update and manage those things. Um, and it's all relatively simple to do that. So that's a quick look inside the DoD Aggregator website. And we have much, much further frequently asked questions and things of that nature. If you go to dodaggregator.com forward slash FAQ. And on that page, you'll see some generic questions. It'll also take you to, to go more in-depth videos about how each of these sections work. Um, and, the, and the best way to properly utilize them to, to help make the launch of your Daily Deal Aggregator site a complete success. Thanks.